You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out the game Air Tricks. It is the Airstream game from Milton Bradley. Now this is game number 4650 and it is vintage. Now you take this little tool which they call the aerobatic air gun and then you have these little foam balls and you're using the airflow to move it around the four different stunts as you can see. Now it could be one player up to as many players as you want. You're basically being timed and then you also get penalty points depending on if you hit the little uh, tricks or not. So let's see here. Let me turn this around. It is a big box. So there are four tricks. Well first off, score point as you race against the clock. And then you have the rung for the ladders. You got to get through all of those. The barrel on the seal's nose. Then you have the weather vane into the bucket. You have into the helicopter which transitions to pick up the mail. And that kind of is one trick. All right, and this game is from 1976. I wonder if anybody here had this as a kid. Everything wants to fall out of the box. So I will come back now. I need to, you know, make a quick change here, set this up just right so we could see all the pieces and get started setting up the game. All right, here we go, the big reveal. Wait, I'm gonna show you something first. Hopefully this will help. This will help because it is the game rules how to go through the stunts uh, and then this is important, so you will see in just a second as I take these pieces out. I can set up the game board. It says any which way. See, form any of these layouts or use your imagination. As long as the connecting points are fine, these will move. You will see. For one to four players, race against the clock to score points in the fascinating stretch stream action game. Maneuver the ball on a cushion of air through the rungs of the ladder, onto the barrel, on the seal's nose, through the weather vane, into the bucket, and finally into the helicopter cockpit to pick up the mail. You score points for each stunt. The player with the highest score wins. Now this is a timed game, and before you start, you set the timer. Like here they say the maximum time is 60 seconds. And I guess it's probably best when you're first starting out. And how to score, because you can lose points if you hit one of the tricks. There you go, that's what's inside. Since I'm playing it alone, it's more for me to set a time and actually, well, you can keep track of my points. Here we go. So for anybody who has this game that has lost the instructions, this is important. Here, look at that. That's all the different pieces you will need to find out if you have a complete game. And then here is page two or flap two. And then it would go this way. And then this way for anybody. This is hopefully going to help somebody. I've been called out before when I haven't shown the instructions because there are people that can use that information. And then here is the timer. Now they were saying start at 60 because you're a beginner. You can do these stunts in 10 seconds. I'd find it really hard. You set your timer to that. It's their stopper. So that's why two people, then someone's actually starting it and you're trying to do the trick, okay? Here's our little air tool. Two of these little foam balls, they're ridged so that they can get the most air hang time. And then under here is my ladder for one of the stunts. These are the main support poles for all of the stunts, okay? And then these are the main game pieces I was telling you about. These are the colored game boards, they say, that you can move around and adjust. And then all of the other pieces. There's a lot here, so there's no real easy way for me to get all these out except to just try to lay them out on the table. I will go stunt by stunt, set them all up with you so you see how it's done. And then a lot of little pieces here. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Now that you've seen all the pieces, I'll show them in more detail now that I've got everything out of the box. I'm gonna set these up first and then continue on till I get all of the different stunts set up. All right, here we go. This is all we need to set up the initial game board. These all have a nice picture on them, different planes that the little person is driving or flying, right? So we wanna match up the ones, then the twos, and then the threes. So we put the white one or the uncolored one down, then we put the matching one, then we put an arrow, 
Because when we're on this stunt, we're keeping track of our mistakes, if we make any. And then now match up the two. Okay. And then number three. See how nice it is? You can move the board around. And now number four is right here by me. Check that out. So I will be moving things around based on my camera, of course. And then, oop, that one came up. Now your pawn starts here on 25 because that is your highest number of points if you solve this. And then if you make a mistake, you lose five points, lose five points, lose five points all the way around. So someone's actually keeping track of that with your timer. So I'm gonna let you keep track of that and then we will go from there. All right, so I'm gonna come back now and set up the first stunt. All right, here we go, setting up for trick number one. Now you wanna take your little blue cap and put that on there. And then the ladder goes on next, but I wanna show you here, there are little arrows. And that's the direction that you're gonna push the ball through with your little air tool. And it's gonna go like that. And then this would go on here. And then you're gonna hang your two little firemen on there. Now, when I read the original instructions, it said put the stickers on the little character pieces. So it probably was all on a little decal sheet when the game was original and complete. Oh, put that guy back on. Don't fall off. That's what you don't want to do is knock them off. Now watch when this thing's moving around here. So it's going to be spinning as the air hits the different areas here. And it is a challenge. All right, so let's move on to trick number two. All right, here we go. It is stunt number two. I mean trick number two. If I say stunt, I'm just interchanging the word there. All right, so this goes on here. It is a trick. But I am performing a stunt, I guess. And then that is your little seal. And on the seal goes this little fan blade. And that goes on there. And then when the air hits this, I'll show you later, this spins. And then the ball has to stop in there. So... We will see how that works. Let's move on to the next trick. All right, so they want this on first, about three inches down, which is about there. Then this goes on to this, this goes on to this, and then this little, kind of like a weather vane, sits on here. Now that's going to spin, so you're going to get the ball through this, through that, and into the cup. But I will show you that. All very interesting, isn't it? All right, let's move on to number four here. All right, here we go. Now, this requires a washer that's supposed to be in there. I've seen these without the washer. It's very important. That's how the balance is created. That goes on. We'll have to adjust exactly where that goes. And then this goes on to here. This is where the ball will drop in. Now, this is going to hang here. Get this on to here. This to here. And now that sits on that. And this is all, imagine this spinning with the air, right? How difficult that might be. And then this will be where we need to adjust. So watch, this is gonna go up to about here. Okay, so it's gonna come in like that and grab it, hopefully. Now that might need a little adjusting, but I think it's close there. Let's just see. Everything is ready. The air is going to be blowing on it. Ooh, close. All right. I think it'll work. There, I moved that in a little. Maybe that'll help with the weight placement. Okay, let me move the washer in just a little. Ooh, all right, I think we're close enough. We'll see, because it's going to be moving around. All right, here we go. Let's get to trick number one. I am ready to go. I'll let you keep score for any mistakes. I'll just pretend play, and I will be right back. All right, it's stunt time, but I want to kind of show you the game board a little bit more here, understand the scoring. So now this, depending on you, we have one, two, three, or four players. If I'm one player, I keep track of all my scoring on my number one dial. So as my pawn is moving and I'm keeping track of my score, let's say I do the first stunt in the time, but I had two mistakes. So that would give me, let me minus one, that would give me 15 points. So I'd keep track there. If you have a second player, then they're going to keep track over there. And a third player is going to keep track here. And for each experiment, you keep adding your total up till you get to... 
Hopefully I get to 95, right? I want to get a perfect score. Well, 25, 50, 100 is a perfect score. So yeah, if I go back to zero, I have a perfect score, I guess. All right, so let me just do each one quickly here so you can kind of understand. And I'll come back and try to get each one to where it's just right. All right, so I would start my timer. Let's say I set this for 60 seconds. The second person would help because they can pull the timer. There we go. And then now I can either start this way or with the air going. And then I say go and then they pull it. Here we go. Oh, I missed it. Oh, and it's spinning. Oh, bummer. All right, let's do it again. Missed. I'll just run each one out of the timer. Oh, I hit the yellow, so that would be a five point deduction. You can lose five points for dropping the ball and five points for hitting with your tool. There, so I would have done it, but I would have lost some points. All right, so I would have done it in the time too. So let me move on to number two. All right, they also say that you don't have to go back to the beginning. So if I got first through the, the first two rungs of the ladder, then I can start from there to continue. I don't have to start back. All right, here is the next one. I just dropped my styrofoam ball. Appears to be easy. Oh, here, let me do this real quick. But watch what happens when this starts spinning. See, the air gets in there, then that starts spinning, and you're trying to get the ball in there, and then it's working against you. So here we go. I'll just do it for a minute and see if I can get it. I think I'm going to come from this side. Well, no, I'll come from the front. Oh, look at that. I did it. First try. Pretty quick, too. So no point deductions. That would have been a 25-er. Oh, all right. This one must like me. Or I've just got it just right. All right, let me do this. Let me just move on to number three. All right, timer is ready. Now this one, you have to go through this hole first, okay? And then need to turn that around so you drop the ball like this. All right, and that three inches is important. I'm gonna move it up just a little too far down. It's really gonna bounce out like that. Okay, that's about right. All right, so I'm just gonna put this in a hard position and it's gonna force me to move that around. Let me back this up just a little. Okay, second ball just in case. Timer ready and go. Oh, fell. All right. Oh, okay. So I made it through that, so I don't have to redo it, but I need to move the blue thing with the ball over. Oh, almost had it. So now I should just be able to drop it through. Oh, it bounced out. Remember what I was saying? Oh, I'm running out of time. Come on. Oh, man. Almost. Almost. Last chance. Ah, total deductions, but at least I did it. I might want to redo that one. All right, let's try the last one now. All right, here we go, number four. Now I want to drop the ball into this, which is the cockpit of the helicopter, then spin this all around so the hook hooks onto that. All right, here we go. Timer, 60, and action. Oh, oh, I hit it. I didn't mean to do that. I want to go a little slower with this. Oh, I missed it. I wonder if it was just a little too low. I'm going to go up just a little. you got to get that setting just right on this one. Okay, let's do that one again. Because I accidentally hit it. I don't want to do that. Ooh, drop the ball. 
Well, that was a dud. Wow. This one's tough. You think it's lined up and in the air. Okay. Here it comes. Ah, oh, time's up. Oh! Out of time, but I think you get it. Oop, got to put that back. All right, what do you think of the game Air Tricks? Would you enjoy playing it? Uh, would you have fun? I would battle against anybody who wants to challenge me. Uh, and I think overall you could eventually get each of the different tricks, uh, you know, a little bit of practice. I think number three was actually the hardest one out of all of them. So let me end up here saying thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Look in that description. There will be a playlist link to all the vintage and older games. And I think I even have one for Milton Bradley. Leave me a question. Leave me a comment. If you can give the video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. All right. I'm going to end off with this here. My last time. I want to do this in one attempt. And say thanks for watching. Ooh. All right. Come down. Come down. Slowly down, move over, this is the hard part here. Ah, later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up!